the $2.2 billion divorce of Kim K and Kanye. As the shocking Kardashian West divorce approaches, there's only one question on everyone's mind. How will the billionaires divide their assets and lavish mansions? Well, according to multiple sources and successful attorneys, here is what Kim and Kanye's $2.2 billion divorce will look like. But before we jump in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button and turn on your post notifications to make sure you never miss out on major Hollywood news. Now, let's jump into the video. Most of you have heard about Hollywood's hottest couple, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, separating for good. The major bombshell was dropped on January 5th by online publications and magazine tabloids. According to TMZ and Page Six, the Keeping Up with the Kardashians superstar Kim K has had enough of her chaotic and unpredictable husband, Kanye West. Multiple sources confirmed that after months of trying to make her marriage work, the reality TV star gave up on the idea of happily ever after. Page Six reported, They are keeping it low-key, but they are done. Kim has hired Laura Wasser and they are in settlement talks. Kim got Kanye to go up there to Wyoming so they could live separate lives and quietly get things sorted out to separate and divorce. She's done. Now this divorce is happening because Kim has grown up a lot. She's serious about taking the bar exam and becoming a lawyer. She's serious about her prison reform campaign. Meanwhile, Kanye is talking about running for president and saying other crazy stuff, and she's just had enough of it. As soon as the divorce news got out, both Kim and Kanye ended up on trending topics, and along with the Hollywood billionaires, there was another name that caught everyone's eye. Well, for those who may not know, Laura Wasser is a notoriously famous Hollywood divorce lawyer. Laura has handled cases and divorces of mega A-listers such as Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie and Britney Spears. The uber-successful tyrant has made a name for herself as the attorney who wins divorces and settles difficult cases. Which is why Kim K has turned to Wasser for help, but it's not the first time Kimmy has needed Laura's help. Because back in 2012, Kim divorced her then-husband, NBA player Chris Humphreys, with the help of her devoted attorney, Laura Wasser. And so, when the world found out that Keeping Up with the Kardashian star was teaming up with the Hollywood attorney, most realized that it would be Kim who came out on top after the divorce. Looking at Kim and Kanye's assets and their properties, there are a few mansions one has to consider when talking about the upcoming divorce. First, let's begin with their extravagant and one-of-a-kind Calabasas home valued at a whopping $60 million. The white and marble-inspired futuresque home was entirely Kanye's creation, which is why Kim will have trouble getting her hands on that $60 million home. According to insiders, the reality TV star will go head-to-head -head with her ex-husband because when it comes to this $2.2 billion divorce, there are only two things Kim cares about. It's her children and her jaw-dropping $60 million mansion. Page Six reported, Kim has the whole divorce planned out, but she's waiting for him to get through his latest episode. Kim is trying to get Kanye to turn over the Calabasas house to her because that's where the kids are based and growing up. That is their home. She owns all the land and the adjoining lots around the house, but Kanye owns the actual house. They both put a lot of money into renovating it. This isn't the first time they've been talking about a split, but this time it is way more serious. It's gotten to the point where they haven't spent time together as a married couple in months. They've seen each other for the sake of the kids, but have been living separately. But while Kim might be fighting for their marble-inspired home, Kanye West might end up living in their Calabasas mansion. Recently, a successful real estate agent, Cedric Stewart, has opened up about the upcoming Hollywood divorce. When asked about the billionaire family, their multiple properties and estates, Stewart had no problem clarify who will get the homes. Courts want to minimize the impact of divorce on the couple's children. 
So often, this means the custodial spouse will retain use of the marital residence. Since West oversaw the redesign and owns the home, a sensible compromise would be for him to keep it and for her to build on the surrounding land for herself and stay in the home via some type of rent back until the project is done. The Wyoming property will go to Kanye as this is where he plans to build his technology, design, and innovation epicenter. But it's not only Cedric Stewart who gave us an insight into the Kardashian West divorce and how the parents of four will divide their assets. Well-known divorce attorney and lawyer Adam Michael Sachs had a few words to say about the expense of separation. When talking about the four West children, North, Saint, Chicago, and Psalm, Adam made it clear why Kim Kardashian would end up with full custody of her kids. Kanye's mental health might affect their divorce when it comes to their little ones. If she can prove that he has mental issues, she can make an argument that he shouldn't have joint custody. She could suggest that he sees the kids with monitors. If he's mentally unstable, he could only see the kids and she would make the big life decisions. And there's a very strong possibility that they could demonstrate he has issues. It would be justified that he doesn't have joint custody. Another respected attorney, Rebecca Zung, shared Adam Michael Sachs' notion by stating a similar opinion. Because of Kanye's unpredictable behavior and personality, the internationally acclaimed rapper might find it difficult to land full custody. And as Kanye is known for going off his bipolar medication, many can expect Kim K will use this information against her ex-husband in the court of law. Rebecca Zung shared, Obviously, if he is having mental issues, she will have to bring them forward to the court if he is unwilling to agree to a parenting plan that gives him less than 50-50. Then she will have to proceed to a trial, and that will create a massive media spectacle. In order for her to try to prove that he shouldn't have the children 50% of the time, she will likely have to ask that a custody evaluator be appointed. Custody evaluators are psychologists, and so they can do psychological evaluations of the parents. The custody evaluator would then be tasked with creating a report which would also have a recommended parenting plan. And if two expert opinions aren't enough, let's take a look at Kim and Kanye's very secret and exclusive prenuptial agreement. Before saying their I do's in Florence, Italy in 2014, billionaires Kardashian and West signed the official document. According to sources, their original prenup didn't cover the topic of kids, which is why Kim and Kanye decided to ultimately update their divorce agreement. A source opened up why Kardashian and West renewed their prenup and what changes the billionaires made to the document. Kim would acquiesce to Kanye when it comes to the prenup if it meant he wouldn't fight her for custody of the kids. It's unlikely Kanye would ever win that battle, but just going through it would be a nightmare for Kim. So it's feasible she could hand over a chunk of her fortune just to ensure she gets primary physical custody. As the updated prenup agreement states, if Kim wants primary custody of her children, she will be forced to give her ex-husband a huge amount of money. Considering how both Kim and Kanye are now officially in the exclusive billionaires club, we shouldn't be surprised to hear Kardashian hand over a couple of million. But let's hope, with the help of Laura Wasser and other smart attorneys, the former Hollywood couple will decide what's best for them and their children in the long run. But what do you think? Who should get primary custody of the West children? Is Kim Kardashian right to divorce her unpredictable husband, Kanye West? Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. Goodbye, everyone.